Peace, peace, Indra Ali, coming back at you with another video. And in this video, I'm going to answer another question I received from one of my email subscribers at indraemo.com. All right, this is a question about ancestor money. Um, when burning ancestor money, I sometimes see green flames and have received different reasons why. Those are indication of real or fake Joss paper, acceptance from the Jade Emperor to send to your ancestors, or indicating money coming your way. Can you shed your opinion on this topic? Um, they also have another question dealing with if the Jade Emperor has to be on the kid's paper for it to be authentic. So I answer both them questions in this video. And this actually is a question I receive plenty of times. I'm be I can't believe I ain't made a video on it. I'm pretty sure I outlined in an Ultra Magic Manual, my latest book. But I'm definitely going to document in this video. So essentially what you're asking me is, does the Ancestor Money color um, of the flame matter? And I'm going to put it like this. I would recommend that you be a scientist with your spiritual path. And what do I mean by that? A scientist runs experiments. So I would suggest that you run an experiment. So this is what I would do. I would have one type of ancestor money I got from one supplier. It could be L9shop.com or it could be anywhere you cop your ancestor money from. I would have one set of ancestor money. I would give an offering at the same time every day in the same manner burning that ancestor money on that Joss paper. I would do that for a week or two or a few days, however long you see fit, and I would document my experiment. I would document my experience or results. What color was the flame? How did I feel? What was my mood? What did I give, et cetera, et cetera. Then the next trial, what I would do is I would have ancestor money or Joss paper from another supplier, and I would give an offering at the same time, same way, but the only difference is I'm switching up my Joss paper. I will also document and record my results. Now, at the end of those two trials, you can evaluate for yourself. Was the flame the same? How did you feel? What happened in your life? What were your dreams like? Et cetera, et cetera. That way, you're having firsthand experience for what you're dealing with, as opposed to listening to every Tom, Dick, and Harry telling you this is what it means that's what it means after the experiment you would know what it means for you so that's why i recommend as far as that does the color of the flame matters it only matters if it matters to you to me i don't i literally don't pay attention to that i know for sure my my altar is charged that one way and i know everything i do on that altar is pop off so i'm not going to question it's like it's like you having a key to to success and you're just questioning it all the time I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but essentially that's kind of what you're doing. So be a scientist and do your own experiments and then you can have the results for yourself. Okay, the second part of the question, um, does the Jade Emperor have to be on the Joss paper for it to actually be authentic ancestor money? Um, this is a question that became popular because um, the Joss paper, with it being like of an Asian origin, a lot of so-called African-Americans and melanated people get up in arms. Like, oh, man, I can't believe it's somebody else that don't look like me on the ancestor money. But yet you spend a fiat every damn day. You know what I mean? But I digress. So if the way I would look at this is if you have, say you're using paper money, which I know a lot of people aren't using paper money nowadays um, by way of the debit and all that stuff, the credit card. But say that you're using um, authentic um, U.S. dollars or fiat currency or whatever. And say that you went and you put somebody else on there. Instead of having a dollar with George Washington on there, you go get a dollar and you put Frederick Douglass on there. Then you go to the store. Would a clerk receive that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. That's essentially what you're saying when you're talking about something that is authentic. That means authentic to whatever it is. In this case, it's Joss paper. The authentic, traditional Joss paper has the Jade Emperor on it. So if you go and remove that, then will it work? Using that analogy with the U.S. dollar, will it work? I'm not here to say that you have to rock with the Jade Emperor on the ancestor money. I'm just saying traditionally, that's what it was. Now, obviously, it's 2022. People have changed the game and did their own thing. And if that resonates with you, by all means, follow your spirit. So the answer to this question is it depends on you. To me, I'd rather have ancestor money with the, jobs, with the um, Jade Emperor. To me, that seems more authentic. But if you feel like you want to change it or get different, then that's up to you. So my answer would be, it depends on you.
You feel me? Don't let me sway you. If you really feel in your heart that you want to deal with um, ancestor money or Josh paper with a different being on there, by all means, follow your spirit. Hell, your ancestors may be guiding you and propelling you to do so.